What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. CLT Aviation 13 here with another airport update. Today is the second edition of the Fort Lauderdale Model Airport in the 1-400 scale. Um, the previous video showcased what FLL looked like you know, pre-pandemic. Um, some of the airplanes in there uh, currently don't fly right now. Um, some things like the JetBlue Neo wasn't in the previous video. And just a little things here and there. Uh, so with that being said, today's airport update will be, you know, what everything looks like as of now. Uh, the schedule is current in terms of what aircraft and routes we're doing. So everything's going to be on par with what you would see at the real airport. And aircraft types are pretty accurate um, for most of the, pretty much for everything today. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and get started with the video. We're going to start with the Spirit over on the G side. Um, start with the one at Alpha 13 for the parking spot here. Uh, this is a Spirit 321 operating flight to San Salvador. And then we have another A321 getting loaded up. It's going to make a flight to Port-au-Prince. Then we have the Lonely Spirit A320, which is heading out to Las Vegas. And next up, we have the JetBlue side. Um, technically, like I mentioned in the previous video, this side right here is, you know, this is, uh, or I'm sorry, this is the G concourse essentially, and then everything else is the rest of the terminal, which would include the JetBlues and the American section. Um, Spirit does have a, I'm not sure, I think it's a common use gate, but they do park over with JetBlue planes. It's not a lot of them, but I just, I have seen a few times they had a couple of gates over there that they would they would park right next to JetBlue. I'm not sure if it's common use or if it's an actual spirit gate, but anyways, 322 Las Vegas. And then the FDNY JetBlue 321 was serviced to Kingston. And then a nice little section right here. We have the 320 Blueberries, the Neo High Rise 320 and Prism 321 looking nice and sharp. Uh, the Blueberries 320 is making a flight to San Diego. Nice sharp with 320. Uh, then we have the A321neo, which is operating a flight to Boston. I think the only Neo flights in Fort Lauderdale are Boston and JFK. Uh, when I was scrolling through the schedule, that's the only ones I saw, unless I missed something. But obviously, equipment swaps happen all the time, so it is possible it could come from a different route. Um, but scheduled-wise, I'm pretty sure that Neo is just from uh, Boston and JFK. And then next up, we have two more JetBlues. Uh, the one you're looking at is that high rise 320, which is going to make a flight to Salt Lake City. And then the next A320 is heading to San Francisco. And then the TWA Heritage 737 is heading to Charlotte. And then last for this section, and then we'll start around somewhere else, is the American A321 Sharklet with service to Philadelphia. All right, guys, first aircraft we'll start with on this side will be a Southwest 737-800. Uh, which just came in from Nashville. And then moving along to the Prism JetBlue A321, which is flying out to uh, Los Angeles. And then scooting on back to a Silver ATR, which uh, just arrived in from Tampa. And backing up to another JetBlue A321 Neo. Um, obviously, just to throw this in here, if you're you know, paying any attention to JetBlue or anything new libraries new colors and all that stuff um there's some really nice jet blue tails coming online soon the 321 neo lr has a nice uh stream uh streamers and then there's also a waves um tail as well which i believe is for the mint 321 neos and then the streamers is for the lrs if i have that correct and then you also have the hop 3 a220 300 library or talfin design and that looks phenomenal as well so um, no major update on T5 I haven't forgot about or anything. It's just on the back burner right now. But when all things are good to go, uh, T5 is going to look absolutely phenomenal with um, the balloons, Talfin, the streamers, the hop, the waves, um, prism, you know, and then everything else mixed in with special libraries, um, blueberries, barcode, high rise, all that stuff. It's going to look awesome. So really excited for that. And like I said, this guy... Uh, for this video, it's heading to JFK. Then backing up to a non-winglet Delta 757-200, a 
uh, just came in from Atlanta. Um, Atlanta's packs a whole bunch of flights. I think it's like 13 daily or something like that. They fly everything from Airbuses, 7.5s, 7.6s, tons of 7.5s. Some, I think there's multiple 7.6s on that schedule too. Um, but yeah, really nice to see a 7.5 around. It's kind of sad that it is becoming more of a uh, rare, <laughs> voice crack, a rare sighting um, in these days. But uh, moving on to a Spirit 321, which is, this is the Gym Ride Jet version. Um, I'm going to be in the process in the future of trying to replace some of my NG ones. Um, obviously, I like the 321 mold the best on NG models, but I like the detail on this particular Gym Ride Jet one. Uh, I haven't done a full comparison video, but uh, just since we're here and I'm thinking of it, the uh, where it has Home of the Bear, Home of the Bear Fair, uh, the engine, uh, it's posted up a lot more better than the NG one. And what I'm saying is, NG one's like a lot, a little bit lower. Again, it doesn't matter. I'm just saying, you know, if we're doing comparison, that's kind of what I picked up on. That's obviously not the reason why <laughs> I'm converting some of my Spirit models from the NGs to the Gemma Jets. The biggest reason is right here is the TV antenna box. Um, these are going to be on all Spirit aircraft once they get Wi-Fi. So for me, it's just kind of keeping it real with the times. And if I sell the plane at NG model prices, I save a little, well, I get back a little bit of money to buy the Gemini Jet 1 since obviously these ones are priced at $35.90, whatever they are, $35.95 um, uh, for the Gemini Jet 1. So uh, as we proceed into the future, you'll start to see a little bit more of the Gemini Jet 1s as opposed to the NG ones. I uh, just wanted to mention that. But um, like I said, if I didn't say it already, uh, this guy's heading to Atlanta. And we have some equipment right here. Um, and then backing up a little bit more to that other Spirit 321, this guy's going to make a flight to Chicago. And then backing up, we have the Azul vacating the runway. Looking really nice. Got some good sunlight right now. And this guy is going to park over next to the uh, park right over to with the Jet Blues over there, right in between those two guys. So looking good. Um, I do need to pick up an Azul A330-200. Hopefully, NG makes one. Uh, their mold's phenomenal. Um, there are some really nice special libraries, so I'd like to get those as well because Azul, they fly the 332s. They fly the 339neo like you're seeing right here. So they got all good stuff coming in. And then I know we started the video on this section right here, but this is just the mentioned the first video for Fort Lauderdale, but this is just like a Ron section. Uh, so we just have a bunch of jet blues. I don't know if I said at the beginning, but they're just hanging out. So looking nice. Um, a lot of the times you'll see a lot of the Zool flights sit here for the majority of the day. Because like I mentioned, they come in early in the morning, leave late at night. Um, so if you're familiar with Fort Lauderdale, I'm sure you have seen Azul just hanging out in this section. Um, that's all I'm trying to replicate here. And then next up, for the next portion of the video, I will take us over to um, the Delta section, Southwest. And then we will finish up with the airplanes taking off the runway. Alrighty, so we'll start with the Delta thank you that you see on the right side of the screen. So I'm just going to go from the Delta swoop to the southwest on the top of your screen. And then those from United that you can't see over there. And then we'll finish things up with the uh, planes taxiing out for takeoff. So starting with the Delta 321, this is the thank you one. Haven't seen this one yet, uh, unfortunately. We don't just get a whole variety of Delta main lines in Charlotte. It's just 717s. Uh, so we don't get the luxury of you know seeing these a lot. Um, probably taking a trip down to Atlanta at some point in the future. So I'll, I would assume I would catch it there, um, as well. But anyways, this is 321 taking Salt Lake City. And then backing up to another 321. I'm not really sure how this got tipped over, but we'll go ahead and tip it back. Uh, this 321 is making a flight to JFK. And then also, not just Atlanta gets the 7.5s, Detroit has some 7.5s on the schedule, so this is heading to Detroit, getting loaded up. And then 319 with service to New York LaGuardia. Alrighty. And then start over here. We got a Southwest 738, <clears throat> excuse me, Southwest 738 with service to Atlanta. And then a Southwest 738 to uh, Chicago. And then have this guy go to Baltimore. And then Florida One is going to stay within the state and make a flight to Tampa. 
And then here's our Uniteds. So we got some Uniteds right here. Um, United does pretty well, mainline wise. I mean, it's a Sun destination, so as you would expect, there's quite a few. Uh, but anyways, uh, have the 7.3 go to Chicago. And then the 320, have him uh, make him go to Newark. And then the 7.3 with service to Houston. So I'm looking nice. Um, go ahead and start. Let's see here how I want to get around. So I'll start with iHeart New York just because it's at the beginning of the runway. Taxi, or not taxiing, but just taking off. Uh, this is iHeart New York with service to Hartford. And then I will scan us over to the Delta 763. Looking nice. Um, like I mentioned in the beginning, this is going to Atlanta. They get quite a few of these, depending on the day. I think it was like two or three when I saw it yesterday or whatever. Uh, so, yeah, 763 to Atlanta. And we got the ATR service to Key West. And then United 319 service to Houston. Didn't forget about the Southwest Canyon Blue service to St. Louis. And backing up to the Spirit 321 with a flight to Santo Domingo. And then we have the Alaska 737-800 service to Seattle. And then last but not least, we have the JetBlue Embraer 190 with service to Jacksonville. So that will conclude everything in this update. Uh, this is kind of how it's gonna look for, the, for Fort Lauderdale for the future. Um, of course, I will be on the lookout for some of the Air Canada planes in the future, but I'm not going to get if it really doesn't justify it. If it's only like one flight a day, you know, I'm trying to fulfill other projects. So um, I need to focus my resources on other other models right now. So if it's, you know, if, if it's not here for a while, it won't be here for a while. So but with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed today's update of my Fort Lauderdale Airport. The next one will be a Phoenix. Phoenix is going to look a lot better, especially with 321s. I didn't put all my Delta A through 21s today. It was not necessary. Um, but when Phoenix opens up here, when I get it all set up, I'll probably have all the 321s in. Uh, Phoenix gets a lot of A through 21s by Delta. So it's going to be good to see that in the video. Uh, haven't been able to have a really good Delta showing in Phoenix for a while just because of uh, the pandemic and also of the aircraft types that Delta has been sending. So, um, I avoid Jimmy Jets as much as I can, and that's kind of what hinders me a lot when I set up model airports. Uh, when it comes to Charlotte, I just have to buy everything because Charlotte I treat as like the flagship airport video for the channel. So I unfortunately have to buy crap planes sometimes. Not because I want to, but I just want to make Charlotte the most realistic setup that I do. Um, but obviously when it comes to other airports, like I'll get a little, I'll slack a little bit just because um, that's not my main goal is to have them look perfect. So with that being said, these are going to look great. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Be sure to like and subscribe to the video. It helps out a ton. And for all the subscribers out there, um, as per usual, thank you so much for all the support. I greatly appreciate it. it helps me keep running this thing. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.